Hello everybody, hi. Hello, happy Monday. Um, happy Sunday to those of you who are in another day. Um, hope you're well, it's Sarah here. I'm a brand ambassador for Aussie Decor Transfers and you're on the Aussie Decor Transfers Facebook page. We're live here, it's Monday evening in Sydney and it's winter time, it's chilly, it's cold, it's dark, but we're gonna have some fun tonight. So um, when you jump on, let me know where you're joining from. I always like to see where people are watching from all over the world, it's one of my favorite things. So um, I'm happy to see that some of you are jumping on now. Hi Jesse, thank you so much for joining. I'm really happy that you could make it tonight. I appreciate it a lot. So um, just to recap, tonight I am going to do a quick demonstration of um, a stencil you might have seen before. Jesse, I don't know whether you've seen this one before. It's the Extra Large Diamond Lattice Stencil. These are fabulous and they are designed specifically for furniture, which is why they're so big. You don't need to keep moving a tiny little stencil around on your piece of furniture because you've already got this great size. But the good thing is about it, it's very flexible. I'm actually going to use it on a small curved surface just to challenge myself tonight. And um, because I just wanted to do something fun and funky. So um, I will get started in just a moment. I'm just seeing some more um, people jumping on. If you've just joined, say hello. Please drop me an emoji. Let me know where you're coming from and where you're watching. Um, because it's a real pleasure for me tonight. It's been a funny day. We're in lockdown here in Sydney. The kids are homeschooling. It's, um, you know, we're back right in the thick of it. So this is an absolute pleasure for me to be here and to be demonstrating to you tonight because this is like totally the best thing that's happened in my day. Um, okay, so I will quickly get started. The stool you can see behind me is what I'm gonna be working on tonight with my stencil. And um, it's the stool that I normally sit on to do my lives. And I thought it kind of deserves a bit of love. It's painted a dark charcoal gray. It's a nice chalk paint, but it could do with a little bit of um, zhuzhing up, something a bit more funky. Hi, Eileen, thank you so much for joining. It could do with a little bit of sprucing up, something fun and funky and this diamond lattice stencil is it's one of those things you know it's quite modern it's got a modern look to it um, and I thought this would be a real fun project to do with you tonight so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna move my camera I'm gonna point it down towards the floor with my stool because I want to work on the top of my stool and I think that is going to be the best way for you to see it so do excuse me one moment while I adjust, do a bit of adjusting. How's everyone's day been today? Jesse, have you been working on any of your projects today? Um, I know that you're going so well with your painting. So I'm gonna pop the stool about here. I think that's gonna be okay. It's gonna be quite visible, isn't it? Good, because I wanna be able to see your comments, but I want you to be able to uh, see the top of the stool and see what I'm doing as well. Okay, hi Linda, how are you going? No projects at the moment, says Jesse. Ah, oh, well, you've been so busy and your grandkids must be absolutely loving the things that you're doing for their bedrooms. It's just so sweet seeing your progress. Okay guys, for those of you who've just jumped on, I'm Sarah from Sarah McCauley Studio. I'm sorry you can't see my face. I have turned my camera so you can see the top of my stool, which I'm going to be stenciling on tonight. So um, I apologize, I don't like to um, be a robotic voice talking into nowhere, but for you to see this, this is the best I could come up with. Hi Angela, thank you for joining. So this stencil, it's um, a really decent size. Some of you have seen these Aussie Decor stencils previously. If you're um, someone who measures in centimeters, they're just over 50 by 60 centimeters or in inches 20 by 24. Hey Siobhan, how are you going? Thanks for joining. I hope you're not in mourning 
today Siobhan we've been a little bit blue after the result this morning we were up at 5 a.m to watch the, the soccer pretty early start for us so yeah a little bit disappointing but still great match very nail biting thank you for sprinkling Jesse appreciate it so for those of you who might have missed the beginning thanks for jumping on I'm using the diamond lattice stencil I've got a really functional stool painted in chalk paint it is a slate gray color it needs definitely some love and some some funking up and so on Annapolis oh you're in Maryland Linda I have a friend who lives in um, Maryland I hear it's a very nice part of the US and I hear I hear you guys are having quite hot weather at the moment from what it sounds like so I hope you're not I hope you're not roasting thank you so much for joining I know everyone's busy and you have lots going on so okay so what I'm going to do because this stool it's not actually flat on the top it's quite curved and I don't want my stencil to give me problems so what I'm going to do I'm not planning my pattern really specifically I'm going to just go with what I've got on the top surface but I am going to tape it I'm going to do some rough taping around the sides because I just don't want it to wiggle around while I'm trying to work on it hey Jen thanks for jumping hi Ange how's everyone tonight or today or whichever day it is for you it's I'm here in Sydney it's just after 7 p.m. on a Monday night and it's cold it's dark um, I'm hoping that my husband might put the chicken pie in the oven before I finish this which would be a really good result for me I've left I've left it out I'm hopeful I am ever hopeful so I'm just I'm not planning th this to be exactly in the middle of my stool I'm just going to um, kind of go with it and see how it ends up and if I've got time I'm also <laughs> going to attempt something a little bit crazy which is to stencil down the legs because I'm a real fan of stenciling, I absolutely love it. Um, but it's easier on a flat surface, so we'll, we'll, let's just see how this goes. It's always good to experiment. Um, so what I've done, I've prepared a few paint colours in advance. My stool is a charcoal grey. I've got, um, I just thought I'd experiment with some different colours. So here I've got um, a really quite bright white. I've got a nice pink it's it's a real pleasant pink it's kind of got actually um, a quite grayish tone to it and then I've got a medium well a lightish gray and then I've got a medium gray so I'm going to just experiment with some blending some colors Linda says my daughter did a semester at Wollongong so I went to see oh really Linda that's so cool how did she enjoy it Wollongong is nice it's a um, little way down south from here as you probably know but um, they've got a great uni down there um, really good uni culture a lot of people love going to Wollongong I hope she had a really good experience there how brave of her to go and do a semester there like I think that's just a fabulous experience so what I'm going to do I'm going to start with my lightest color and I'm just going to experiment and then I'm going to work into some pinks and some greys and I'm just going to see how this ends up okay what I do like to do when I'm stenciling is to keep my paint as dry as possible and by that I mean um, I blot off a lot of my paint onto a piece of kitchen towel um, I'm not sure what you call kitchen towel in the US shop towel I'm not sure somebody tell me that would be great kitchen roll anyway so um, she loved it she was homesick oh Linda she was homesick oh god yeah I bet it would have been so different for her I'm just gonna start with my whitish color and I'm just gonna start with the middle of my stencil and work out 
And the reason I've blotted my paint is because what I really hate is when you're doing a stencil and you're putting your life and soul into it and it, you take it off and it's bled underneath. I just, that is one of my pet peeves. So um, somebody taught me this great technique of just absolutely blotting almost all the paint off your brush and pouncing it on like this. So that you're getting, it's like a little sprinkling of paint, it almost looks like snow. So it's a little bit frustrating, you think, oh, I'm not really getting anywhere. But I have found this is absolutely the best way to avoid that horrible um, bleeding underneath, which is just um, annoying when you've worked hard at it. There we go. Have any of you tried um, these stencils yet? They're really cool. Uh, this is the second one I've tried. Um, I did one a few weeks back, which was the fan stencil. And I love that one too. I'm gonna use, I've got another piece coming up, which I want to use that one. And um, when you use it, it's not a one-time use. You can just wash it. I actually put it on a hard surface, like a table or a floor, and I actually wipe it with kitchen wipes to get the paint off. This is chalk paint I'm using so it's water soluble, comes off easily. But um, you can, um, yeah, you can use them time and time and time again and they're quite thick, they're um, 0.25 centimetres and they're made of mylar which is a strong, robust, flexible plastic. So you pay, you pay once but you get heaps of use. So they're a real fab product to have. And they look wonderful on furniture. You might have seen some of the brand ambassadors and content creators on this page use them on furniture and also um, uh, use, you can use transfers as well with them. So you can use your stencils, your transfers, um, all your gorgeous products to really make a piece of furniture look amazing. Right, I'm a little bit bored with the white now. So I'm gonna move on to the pink. If I just had um, one stencil brush, I, I would just wash it gently and start on my pink, but I've lined up several just for speed so that I can show you without having to get up and go to the sink. So um, guys, if you, I know some of you are already in the Creative Club. I've seen some of your beautiful work, but if you're not in the Aussie Decor Creative Club, it's a Facebook page for anyone who loves the product and wants to see beautiful creations and you can um, experiment with your own Aussie Decor products and post a picture in the group. And it's a really great way to share, um, meet other like-minded creative people and um, uh, also a chance to win competitions and prizes. So, um, it's really great fun and keep your eye on the page. We've got a great um, competition going at the moment where you can win 120 Aussie dollars worth of product by using one of our new transfers. Hop on the page, have a look. And you also not only get the prize, you get to be the feature photo of the month. So it's a bit of, um, you get to be like the hero picture, which is so cool. So I've blend, I've started off white. I'm going into some pinks. I'm doing my blotting and pounce, what I call the pouncing technique. And I think I'm gonna start blending into some greys around the edge. And I might even go down the legs if I can. Love, you know, I love this stencil. It's just, um, it's very funky and modern. I hit my taste, if you've been watching in my life, does tend to be a bit floral and a bit floaty and a bit boho and um, birds and butterflies. So it's actually quite fun for me to do modern, hard edges, funky, print, um, you know, printed stencil. 
Okay, cool. Okay, for my next colour, I'm actually, I think I might actually even blend a bit of grey and a bit of pink and see how I go with that. So I'm going to use my brush, which has got the pink on it. I'm going to take some pink and I'm going to chuck it in a bit of this pale grey and see. It's kind of like those, um, for, the, for any Aussies watching, it's kind of like those galah colours. You know, the great galah bird, which is that lovely, really subtle, soft pinky grey creature. Here we go. And I'm actually getting to the edge of my stool. So this is good because it means I'm hoping to have time, some time to go around the edges if I can. So I know I recognize quite a few of your names. I would say faces, but I can't see you. Um, and I really appreciate the love that you show to this group. Like we really um, are so happy that you guys jump on our live demos. Um, and I know that some of you are um, fans of the products too. So if you want to look at any of the product, my affiliate link is above this video. Do jump on and have a look. And um, it, you know, it's good to keep checking back on the website because there's so much new stuff. Deb, who is the owner of the brand, um, is very innovative and she um, is rolling out amazing new products all the time which is fun for us. We get to try the new stuff. We get to show it to you. Hopefully we inspire you to, to give it a go, you know, see what you want to create. And what is lovely for us is when we see how other people are using the product because um, everyone's got their own style and people come up with very clever things. Some of the newest transfers have got um, uh, cacti and llama on them. Have any of you seen those yet? They're so fun. Like they're really, they're really different. Okay, so I'm just peeling off my tape because I'm getting towards the edge of my stool and I want to try and cover the top, I have a chance to show you where I've got to and then we might have a chance to go down the legs, which is a little bit risky because of it being such a curved surface, but you know what, let's, why not? Why not have a go? Here we go. Brilliant. The other thing to check out on the website, if you haven't already, is there's a section called Bargain Basement, which is um, bits and bobs, you know, just sort of bits and bobs and things, part packets where, you know, there might be part of a packet. Um, you get some really good um, deals. So it's definitely worth checking out because there might, it might be like a packet with just like one little piece of something missing in it and you can get most of the whole packet for a really... A really good deal. So I, um, so those of you who who don't know me already, I teach workshops in Sydney. I've got a little backyard studio, which is where I'm talking to you from, and I have groups of people come and learn furniture painting and crafts, and we have an upcycling club, and um, we have fun. We drink prosecco, we eat cake and we do cool stuff. So now that I am getting into all the Aussie decor products, we're gonna be doing um, loads of spring and summer workshops using transfers, stencils, cool stuff. I'm really looking forward to that. Okay, now this is the point where I have to hold my breath and lift this off carefully. There we go, it's got a little bit of dust on it, which I will clean up afterwards. 
but you can you kind of I'm just going to bring the camera down a little bit to show you the fun and funky effect I actually really like that it reminds me a bit of um, uh, licorice all sorts or something like that for those of you who remember licorice all sorts um, and what I might do now just bear with me is I'm going to lift up my stool oopsie and lift up my camera there we go because I'm just going to do a little hint of stencil on the legs thank you Linda for saying pretty and you Jesse you're very kind I appreciate that um, and I think I can do this this is a, you know it's a little bit of a gamble but I think I can do it because the stencil is so bendy what I'm going to try and do if I'm brave enough is hold it bend it around the legs <laughs> and um, do like little bits I mean these little diamonds are wonderful they lend themselves can you see that little these tiny diamonds there's no reason why I can't do that on a leg you know you can do a little bit of diamond you can do one of these um, these things what are these called chevrons maybe I think those are called chevrons I'm going to try and do one of those oh there's a big diamond as well maybe I'll do the big diamond on here so I'm just going to bend this around the leg hold it really still I don't have um, I could tape it on I'm just going to try and hold it and do it like this and then just lift it off carefully and you're getting this kind of it's just a fun funky little effect um, I think it might be too much to actually attempt one of these chevrons on the legs so I think I'm going to do just diamonds on the legs I'm going to try some grey for my diamonds next see if I can pull that off this this would actually look good with some of those um, if some of you seen the lovely Alice in Wonderland themed bits and bobs um, that we're doing now this sort of this has got a slightly sort of Mad Hatter look to it now hasn't it so I'm just doing a few little diamonds down the legs these are going to be just random and my colours are sort of I've gone a bit random with the colours as well so I've got some pinks I've got some greys I'm going to do a little bit around the edge of my stool here um, you can just be very free with these which is so fun one of the um, other brand ambassadors crystal used this stencil um, on a screen this week I don't know if any of you saw her Jessie maybe you were on that live and she used a paste through the stencil like an embossing paste and when you do that it gives you a raised effect stencil so you put your embossing paste through the holes and when you lift it off you've got a raised effect and then it um, hardens like poly filler or spec filler or whatever you want to call it and it looked brilliant here we go so I've got my little diamonds going this is very enjoyable it's sort of the kind of project you could do with the radio on and a glass of wine which is would be nice maybe I'll do that next time um, yeah I'm finding these little diamond the big the, the larger and the smaller diamonds are working best on the legs I don't think this I, I'm not sure that would bend around and look very nice but I'm just going to keep going with my little diamonds and my slightly bigger diamonds and give it that like it looks like little lollies or sweeties or something doesn't it here we go I'm 
Wonderful. So um, I know some of you on here are Aussies and it's your evening. I'm a, I'm a Brit, you can probably tell by my accent, but I've been in Australia 20 years, so kind of an honorary Aussie. But um, I love the fact that um, there's so many people from different parts of the world jump on these lives. Um, and I love hearing from the US crowd because um, my father grew up in the US and um, I have aunties, cousins, relatives all over the US. Okay, I'm doing too much pink now. I'm gonna do a little bit more gray and then I'll show you where I've got to. And I might continue a little bit after I finish this live. Here we go. Yeah, I'm kind of liking this, it's just fun. And um, I think you could, this would also be quite a fun product for um, kids piece of furniture, don't you think? Just to liven up something a little bit boring. I'm gonna go for a bit more gray. Perhaps a toy box. So I use these stencil brushes. They are, um, these are cheap and cheerful. These are from a craft store. And I like them because they've got quite stiff bristle brush, bristles and you can um, sort of pounce them through the holes. Some people use um, little foam brushes as well. It's really a matter of taste and um, you know, um, your own preference. But I've kind of got addicted to these little brushes. I find they're, they do the job nicely. Hey Amber, what's new for you? Thank you for jumping on. And hey Linda, thanks. Thanks for saying good ideas. Anyone else got any good ideas for this stencil? It's, um, it's a good one, I like it. And what I love about these, you just use them again and again and again. Really nice quality. Um, I love to stencil on fabric, so I would use this on a cushion as well. Um, you could make tote bags, uh, you could do, um, I sometimes make bunting as well with hessian and stencil on the bunting, so um, I might try that. Oh, we love you too, Amber. You're such um, a faithful follower of our lives, I really appreciate that. I'm sorry you don't sleep though, that's not so good. That's hard work if you're not sleeping. Thanks, Jesse. Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there. What's the weather like today, Amber? Is it hot? Hot where you are. I know that a lot of the states are having heat wave at the moment. My aunt lives in Minnesota and she says all her plants are dead. So she's not that happy. Oh, you have this stencil, Amber. Okay. Have you used it on a project yet? It's a really nice one, isn't it? This is my first time using it. Um, and I will show you just in a moment what I've done with the top of this stool. It's a rather sad, boring little stool and I just wanted to make it a little bit, a little bit happier. 4, uh, 4 a.m. 4 a.m. It's been hot. Oh my goodness, hon. That's tough. Well, thanks for joining at 4 a.m. You need a medal for that. 
although I have to say my husband was up at 4.30 a.m. turning on the soccer, the, in, the European Cup, England, Italy game. So, you know, he woke me up, which was okay. But. Okay, I think, I think that's, I'm gonna just pause there for now. I will do some more later. I want to pause and show you um, the top of it because the top's quite fun. It looks, um, you know, it kind of looks like candy or something, doesn't it? I like the colours. It's sort of some pinks, greys, whites. Um, your friend, yeah, your friend, oh, your friend watches the soccer. Yeah, it's been fun been really fun so there's the top I'm going to I've done a little bit on the legs um, I'm going to continue a little bit more maybe sort of taper off some of the diamonds down to the bottom and then I will seal it with um, like a clear a clear coat of sealant oh that's better I can actually speak to you properly now I'll do like a clear varnish when I've finished and that'll just protect it um, from damage but I'd, yeah I'd love to hear what the rest of you are doing um, and Amber if you do a project with your stencil I'd love to see it that would be really cool um, good so I might sign off in a minute um, so what have I got to tell you so you already know the Aussie decal page some of you are big fans and we really appreciate your support I know that you're making things you're posting pictures you are supporting us and you're buying through our affiliate links which is fantastic because if you do that it means you know um, a little bit of income for us and we can keep doing our projects and, and keep showing you which is what we love to do because it's um, it's great fun for us so if you do want to look at any of the um, Aussie decor product on the website jump on the link is above this video and there is also the link to the creative club which um, is great fun to be in Everyone's super supportive um, and it's just really fun to see what everyone is doing with the products. Like it's um, very inventive and because there's new products being released all the time, um, there's just a world of opportunity. So with the stencils, I think there is um, nine or 10 stencils available at the moment. Um, next week, I'm going to be doing a transfer and I'm, I'm quite excited about um, what I'm going to be showing you. I'm, I won't tell you now, but um, it's quite exciting. And I have another product I'm going to use on the same piece of furniture the following week. So it's going to be a whole build up of cool stuff going on. Um, so yeah, keeps me busy, keeps me out of trouble. And it's lovely seeing you. I really appreciate you jumping on. Go have a look at the Aussie products and um, just keep in touch. If you've got any questions at all, keep posting them. You can reach out. To me on my page, Sarah McCauley Studio, really happy to hear from you. Do follow my page and follow the Aussie Decor Transfers page too. And um, any questions about the product, please, please reach out to any of us on the team because we want to um, really help you get the best out of them. All right. Thank you, everyone, for your love. Thank you for your thumbs up, your kisses and your love. It's been great fun. I will see you next week, same time, same place. Bye, guys.